Welcome to the Clear Linux OS Telemetrics Overview. This video will cover the basic architecture of the telemetric system and show how the telemetry client uses probes on the system to gather crash and debug information, which is sent to the server for analysis and presentation. You don't need to have any prior experience with the Clear Linux project to follow along, but you will find it helpful to have a working knowledge of Linux systems and a basic understanding of how software is configured in a Linux environment. Let's get started. Telemetrics Overview Telemetrics on Clear Linux is an opt-in solution that collects data from running systems to help quickly identify and fix bugs in the OS. Telemetrics is a combination word composed from telemetry and analytics to encompass both the gathering and analysis of crash and debug information. The Clear Linux telemetric solution consists of a client and server which communicate over the network. The client gathers system level debug and crash information using specialized probes and sends that data to the server for presentation and analysis. Both the client and server are customizable to suit your needs and the libtelemetry library provides an API to allow you to create custom telemetry records from your applications. The intent with telemetrics is to move from user-detected and reported issues to provider-detected and repaired issues. Ideally, issues in the OS will be undetected by the user. The telemetry client. The telemetry client provides the front end of the complete telemetric solution. It consists of probes that collect specific types of data from the operating system and applications, libtelemetry, a C library that probes use to create telemetrics records and send them to the telemprobe D daemon for further processing, telemprobe D, a system daemon that manages receiving records from client probes, filling in record header information, and spooling the records ready to be sent to the backend server. And telemposti, which is a system daemon that takes the spooled records and sends them to the backend server and or writes to the disk. If the telemposti daemon cannot send their data to the server, it will spool the records for a period of time defined in the telemetrics.conf file and will then delete or save depending on selected configuration. The telemetry functionality adheres to Intel's privacy policies regarding the collection and use of personally identifiable information. Customizing the client. Customization is controlled by a config file with the default config kept in the slash user share defaults telemetrics telemetrics.conf file. You can override the default config by placing a copy of the telemetrics.conf file in Etsy telemetrics and then making modifications to that file. Keeping your custom config file in Etsy's telemetrics adheres to the stateless nature of Clear Linux. Options in the config file include specifying which backend server the telemposti sends the telemetry records to, the path to the spool directory for records, and how long records should be kept. As well, you can use a configuration option to keep all records locally and not send them to a server at all. This can be useful for development and debug of an application before deploying it across multiple systems. You can also create custom records by using the telemetry API whether through instrumenting your own code with the API exposed in the libtelemetry C library, or by using a command line interface with the telem record gen utility. The same capabilities are available through both options. Telem record gen can be used to create records from shell scripts when writing a probe in C is not reasonable or desirable. Records are sent to the backend server and can also be echoed to standard out for instant feedback. Creating probes. When you opt into telemetry in the client system, the telem control utility automatically enables and manages probes for basic system services to enable real-time issue reporting. 
For example, there are probes for kernel oops, for SWEPD, which is the clear Linux software updater, machine error checks, and the BIOS error table for unhandled hardware failures. Real-time reporting of issues allows system developers to zero in quickly on issues and to monitor once patches or fixes are delivered. The probes avoid collecting personally identifiable information and records comply with Intel's privacy policy. You can use the libtelemetry library to add probe capability to your code with your custom data and payload in the record. Reading records. When configured to store records locally, the telemetry client writes them to the var log telemetry records directory with each record represented by a text file named by the record ID. You can easily access the contents of the records using the telem control journal command as seen here. Records include the following information, a header consisting of the issues classification, timestamp, record ID, event ID, boot ID, and the payload, which can be as simple as a hello heartbeat message or a complete backtrace of a crash. When you're creating your own records, whether using the API exposed by libtelemetry or using the telem record gen utility, you will need to provide the classification and severity of the issue along with the payload. The telem probe D daemon will provide the remaining information to complete the record before posting to the spool. Note that the machine ID reported by the telemetry client is a random name and is rotated every three days for privacy reasons. This can be overridden by putting a file containing the desired static machine name in the Etsy telemetrics directory. The telemetry backend server. The backend server provides the server-side component of the telemetric solution. It consists of an Nginx web server and two Flask apps, the collector, an ingestion app to receive records from telemetrics client probes and write them to the Postgres SQL database, and the telemetry UI, a web app that exposes several views to visualize the telemetry data and also provide a REST API to perform complete remote queries. The backend server can be deployed on systems running clear Linux, Ubuntu, or CentOS. The server is configured as an HTTP server, and there is a script available in GitHub to help with install on the Ubuntu and CentOS systems. On clear Linux, you can use the SWEPD service to install and ensure the system is kept updated. Viewing telemetry data. The telemetry UI web app presents record data that gives you multiple views to filter the telemetry data. Records are analyzed and displayed in a developer-oriented format on the telemetry server. The telemetry UI app offers multiple views and will allow you to search on a particular record, classification, machine ID, or other. This helps with quick issue identification and can help get to root cause. The same kind of filtering is available through the REST API as well. Preset views, such as the crashes view seen here, help you analyze the life cycle of an issue. You can see in which build an issue presents itself and use that information to narrow in on debug. The end-to-end -end telemetric system in Clear Linux is designed to help increase the speed of issue identification and resolution. It is easy to instrument your applications with telemetry, and the system is customizable to your needs. To see the latest developments and track our project, visit us on GitHub. You can find more information about Clear Linux features, in-depth usage tutorials, and documentation on our website, and contact us via the links on the screen.